Good evening, Bethlehem and saints of God. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, or whatever time you're listening to this week at Bethlehem. This week at Bethlehem, it's an opportunity I take to share with our church what's going on this week at Bethlehem. But before I do, I want to take this opportunity to share a personal invitation for those who do not have a church home. If you do not have a church home and you live in the Pauls Valley, Oklahoma area, Garvin County, we would love to see your face in this place. Join us at 311 North Dunbar. Again, join us at 311 North Dunbar. And we'd love to see you at the 11 a.m. service this coming Sunday. But before you visit us, why don't you visit our website at www.heargodsword.bethlehem.com. Again, visit our website at www.heargodsword.bethlehem.com and get to know us there. Click that Facebook tab and you'll know everything that's going on here at the Bethlehem Baptist Church. This week at Bethlehem, First of all, I want to thank everyone who joined Ecclesia in the park this last Sunday. We had an awesome time in the Lord, and we just want to thank you for your presence and for your encouragement of our sister churches. They celebrated three years in the Lord, and we just want to praise God for all that he's done at Ecclesia. And again, thank you, Bethlehem, for your great encouragement in the faith. This week at Bethlehem, well, Bethlehem, uh, this week we're going to be trying to go into the new pastor's text. Now, I need you to be aware, Bethlehem, because uh, I'm going to text tonight from the old pastor's text but tomorrow, around 6, uh, really 5 o'clock uh, p.m., I'm going to text from the updated uh, pastor's text, from the updated pastor's text. So if by 5.30 you did not get a text from me or you notice you didn't get a text from me because I usually send out the pastor's text an hour before the uh, the time that we have for our Bible study time. If you did not, you got to be aware of that. If you did not get a text from me by 5.30 tomorrow, then what you need to do is you need to text me and let me know that you need to be added to the pastor's text. Uh, again, you got to text me and let me know you need to be added to the pastor's text. As we move forward, I don't want to leave nobody behind. So again, tomorrow, if you are aware that you have not received your pastor's text by 5.30 before Bible study, and uh, if you're going throughout the weeks and you hadn't heard from me, then you know that you somehow were not added or dropped. So please uh, text me, email me, or however you want to communicate. Let me know to put you on the pastor's text. This week at Bethlehem, this week at Bethlehem, we continue to encourage all of the Bethlehemites as well as the Chickasaw District and uh, the Oklahoma Baptist State Convention and all our delegates around the nation. We want to see you at our virtual Congress. We want to see you at our virtual Congress. Visit the website there on the screen and go ahead and register. We look forward to seeing you in the virtual Congress on June the 21st through the 25th. Again, visit that website on the screen there. And uh, we'd love to see you in virtual Congress this week at Bethlehem. This week at Bethlehem, I'm encouraging all the men, as I've said throughout the days, uh, I'm encouraging all the men of the National Baptist USA Incorporated, uh, Bap the Oklahoma Baptist State, the Chickasaw District, and all the brothers of Bethlehem to join me in this study that I have written called the Baptist Layman. The Baptist Layman's curriculum was written by me, and it will last for 13 lessons in the summer. And this next lesson that's coming up this Sunday 
we're going to be looking at, and we're looking at profiles of servant, uh, profiles of servants or servanthood. And this Sunday, we're going to be looking at uh, uh, the Martha and Mary uh, story. And we want as men to be able to choose the best. Now, you remember that story, man, if you're not, uh, pick up or uh, your Bibles and read that, or you can get the curriculum on the screen there. You can still get the curriculum. We'll be in lesson three in this curriculum, but you still can buy this curriculum. So buy this curriculum on the screen for all your men and join me this summer as we study profiles in servants. So I'd love for you to study with me this coming Sunday. This week at Bethlehem, this week at Bethlehem, uh, we're going to uh, continue to study in this great series that we've called I Am. Uh, and this is a, a new series and we're, we're studying the Old Testament designation that God described as himself. You know, there are many names of God and many of us have gone through studies of the name of God but this designation of who God is, is by God himself. Uh, Moses was given the task, a great task to liberate the people from Egypt. And uh, Moses said, well, whom shall I say sent me? When I get there, who shall I say sent me? And God told Moses to tell him that I am that I am, it's the older translations, the newer translations say, I am who I am. Tell them I am sent me. Tell them I am sent me. And we get this great encouragement from God because of the God of I am. This mantra this month is I am because God am. Bad English, but good theology. I am because God am. I am beautiful because God am beautiful. I am smart because God am smart. I am strong because God am strong. I am talented because God is talented. I am powerful because God is powerful. I am enough because God is enough. And that's what God was telling Abraham when he, when he asked to say, whom shall I say sent me? God would say, tell him I am. He, tell him, he was telling Moses that he was enough to get the people from the most powerful planet on the, on the face uh, of the earth and to liberate them. And I can't help but tonight know that somebody needs encouragement tonight. And God is saying that I am enough for you. You don't, you don't need anybody else. You don't need nothing else. You don't need no other false gods, no other direction in your life. If you love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, God says tonight, I am enough. I am enough for healing. I am enough for joy if you are depressed. I am enough uh, for you to discover a new job if you've been laid off. I am enough for you to build a new family if you're going through a divorce. Uh, I am enough uh, money if you've been bankrupt. I am enough for you to overcome uh, such a time as this. Any situation, any circumstance that you face tonight, God says tonight that he is enough enough. I am that I am, as the old text says. Well, we're going to continue in this series, and we're going to look at uh, uh, a, a, a message from Isaiah 43, uh, 10 through 11, really focusing on 11. And God designated himself in this text, I am he. H Hello, somebody. I am he. H Hello, somebody. Somebody tonight was wondering about how they were going to make it. And God says tonight, I am he. It is through me that you're going to make it. I am he who can give healing. I am he who can provide 
Oh, I am he who can encourage. I am he who can give joy. I am he who can give life. I am he. Somebody's looking for a God tonight. You don't know Jesus Christ for the pardoning of your sins. And Jesus said in the New Testament, I am he. Hello, somebody. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I am he. Tonight, you can be saved if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am he, believe in him, and you can get to know God, and under this designation, I am he, and for the saints, you already believe, and he's saying, hey, I am he, what are you worried about, what's causing you sorrow, what's causing you fear, oh, don't you know that I am he? I am he that you look for in the midst of the storm. I am he that can deliver you through the floodwaters. I am he, oh, that can open up doors that no man can shut. I am he. We serve the God of he. Hello, somebody. In Jesus' name, he is, as we see, that designation of I am a uh, uh, ever, progress, uh, ever progressing God that he becomes everything that you need in a time of trouble. That's what the psalmist said. So tonight we want you to be encouraged. If you're feeling down and you're feeling blue, God has sent me to let you know that I am he that you need to look to in this time of sorrow. But we're going to look at the major thrust of this message tomorrow. We just gave you a little nugget tonight. So we would love for you to join us tomorrow night in our Zoom uh, Bible study that will be Facebook Live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, uh, look at Isaiah 43 and 10 and 11 because you may not be able to make it till tomorrow night. God is speaking to you till tonight that I am He. So we'd love for you to join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time as we get into this word. Again, the message is, I am he. If you need a little encouragement tonight, God led me. I was not preaching this last Sunday. And many times when, I, when I'm not preaching, God leads me to go back to a throwback word, a spin back word, or go back to a period in time at the Bethlehem Baptist Church, and he led me back to, uh, I believe it was March uh, 2012, March 2012, a message entitled, From Despair to Hope, From Despair to Hope, as we look at Psalms uh, uh, 13, Psalms 13, and if you're feeling depressed tonight, I want you to go ahead and download this message. Um, it's the last link uh, in uh, the YouTube live, or not the YouTube, but the Facebook live. You can go down. It's the last link and the information in the comment sections there. Uh, it will be in the comment sections as well on uh, YouTube. Uh, you know, it will be the last link in the pastor's text. If you're feeling despair, if you're feeling a little low, God has a word. You see, that word is timeless, and he wants to use a word from uh, almost uh, 10 years ago, uh, again, March of 2012, I called it a spin back uh, word on Sunday, spin back word Sunday, where we went back in time to get this word. And God has a word for you back in time that's going to speak to you right in your time right here, right now. If you need encouragement, go down again to this last link and click the link. From despair to hope, from despair to hope. You've been listening to this week at Bethlehem, and we want to thank you, Bethlehem, for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And remember, if you don't get a text, Bethlehem, tomorrow by 530, you better call, text, or do something. Say, hey, Reverend, I need to be put on the pastor's text. Again, we want to thank you for listening. And always remember, Bethlehem, stay connected, stay connected. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now, as the song singer says. May God bless you and keep you, is my prayer.